Hey, my dear friends, uh, to refresh your memory, I am doing the 12 days of Christmas cookies. So the next one that I wanna share with y'all is really very good. And uh, it's called Meemaw's Kitchen Sink Cookies. And Meemaw happens to be Brooke Dean, my daughter-in-law's grandmother, who's no longer with us. Uh, but she did love her Meemaw so very, very much. And uh, so I'm proud to, to share this recipe with y'all because it comes from Mimi with a whole lot of love. Uh, I didn't get to meet her, but I understand that she was just one fine lady. So let's get started. We have our all-purpose flour, and I am gonna add to this our salt, a cream of tartar, and our baking soda. Not powder, but soda. So I'm just gonna give this a little stir. When you're uh, working with flour and adding other ingredients to it, if you'll use a whisk, uh, it almost, it acts like a sifter, which is good. Okay, so there we go, that's mixed up real good. Now our first step is to cream our sugars. So that's white sugar, brown sugar. And remember, they will, uh, the recipe will appear on this recipe, right? And this, uh, yeah, yeah, there's a link. Uh, yeah, a link, yeah, that's what I was trying to say. There'll be a link. Uh, for the measurements. Yeah, for the measurements. <laughs> <laughs> help me, Eddie, help me, Eddie. <laughs> I'm trying to do two things at once, talking uh, unwrapped butter. <laughs> and those things are getting harder and harder. I don't know why. <laughs> to do two things at one time is getting harder. All right. Now we're just gonna cream these up real good. So it'll take just a few minutes. My stepdaughter, Michelle, uh, she continues her family's tradition. And that was making, oh my gosh, I bet they make 10 or 15 different cookies. And they start in October baking them. And she texted me the other day and she said, we're in the kitchen starting the Christmas cookies. And I said, well, it's not Halloween yet. She said, well, we always start this early. And, uh, they put them in the freezer. So when Christmas comes around, they uh, get together and take a bag to family members or school teachers or something like that. But anyway, it's nice that they have just a little love gift to give to her friends and family. Alrighty, this is creaming pretty good, y'all. And I love, I love uh, Mimo's name for this, the kitchen sink. <laughs> okay, the next thing we're gonna do is uh, add our oil. And this looks like a lot, but that's what's gonna make it so good. And we're gonna add our egg. You're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to crack your egg over your bowl of ingredients because if that egg was bad, I'd had to start it all over again. So I had a, I made a boo-boo, y'all. <laughs> okay, look at this, look at this, look at this. So Meemaw says to um, add your flour and three, three times. 
What am I trying to say? Three increments. So, yeah, <laughs> three increments. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so Mimo tells us don't forget to stop and scrape down the sides. Make sure everything gets mixed up good. I cannot wait for y'all to make all these cookies. Uh, I tell you what, one of the best cookies I've ever put in my mouth uh, was sent to us by a photographer that worked with us on opening up Paula Dean's Family Kitchen in Nashville, Tennessee. Philip, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you've got to watch that video. I'm. I'm addicted to that cookie. And you wanna know the name of it? Cornflake cookies. They're better than any butter cookie you have ever, ever eaten. In fact, we gobbled them all down, like two recipes. And they ain't a cookie in sight. <laughs> what you shaking your head for, Eddie? I've got some hidden. You got some hidden. <laughs> oh, 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 you little buzzard. <laughs> I didn't see you hide any. Okay, so I'm going to turn this up a little bit and get all that mixed up real good. And you see, I'm going around the sides of that bowl to. Make sure all of that gets incorporated. Okay. Mimo says to just beat these in lightly. Uh, I would almost think you'd want to fold that because I would think beating them is gonna break what, them up some. Now what is that, the rice? This is Rice Krispies and they are not frosted, they're unsweetened. And this is oatmeal. And I'm almost thinking, I don't know, we'll see. Let's see what happens. That's on the lowest speed we've got. And I think that's all I'm gonna do. I think I'm actually gonna fold in the rest. I'm gonna try to sling some of that batter off the beaters and not get me an Eddie. <laughs> Did I get you, Eddie? I didn't get nope, me. Nope. All right, yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna fold that in so it won't get crushed. Cause I do like the, uh, that's what makes those cornflake cookies so good, Eddie. Yeah, that, that crunch. Uh-huh, yeah, it's got that crunch and you, um, I don't know, and you, beat the, you fold those cornflakes into your flour mixture very gently so they don't get crushed up. <laughs> You've gotta go find that video, y'all, and make those cookies. Your family would be so happy. All right, now I'm gonna stir in coconut. And then after this, I'm gonna see if I can get the kitchen sink unhooked and put that in there because it calls for a kitchen sink. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Don't do that, kitties. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to drop these on tablespoons by the tablespoon and bake them in the oven. This is one of those ingredients that makes it so good, y'all, because these are crunchy and this is just bits of brickle. And you can buy this in choc in a chocolate covered brickle too. But I just do love the, just the plain English toffee. I'll put this in cakes, cookies, whatever. I'm doing it the time that's sweet. 
because they really add a lot to any of your sweet pastries. And you can see this dough is real thick. And now Mimo tells us to cover this and let it sit in the refrigerator for one hour. And I, I don't understand that part because the dough is plenty thick enough. And I may just try foregoing that step, Eddie. What you think? Why not, right? <laughs> well, hey everybody, I'm Bobby Dean and I'm here with my mom and we are Look making- Look who walked in, y'all. Look, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I was so excited to see Bobby walk in. And I don't Aren't you still excited? Yes, I am. Your I don't... lipstick is just... Oh, it's going... Can you get close um, on that, Eddie? No! <laughs> deserving of a close-up. Oh, it is. It's got that crazy run... lady look. What? Where it runs <laughs> you know? into those wrinkles. Where it's just kind of just dripping <laughs> down. <laughs> One good. day you're going to have lines around your lips, too. But hopefully you won't have a problem with lipstick. <laughs> All right, so here I am with so Mama. So anyway, mm -hmm. what I was gonna tell them, I don't even think you knew that I was doing the 12 days of Christmas cookies. Did you even know? I didn't know it, but I just came over on the right day. Yes. I love cookies and I love the 12 days of Christmas. And you love your mom. And I love you. Okay, great. So, well, before you go. What day is this? <laughs> Today's the 12th day. Oh, it's the second day. No, is it the second? Oh, right. I thought it was like third or fourth. Well, we're not really going to, we're not playing. Mm. Okay, we're not mm. doing it that way, y'all. There's the boss. <laughs> <laughs> There's Mrs. Claus. Miss Producer. <laughs> and Mr. What day is it, Teresa? And Mr. Director. <laughs> we're not locking in to which day these are getting posted. And I'm their right. puppet. So this will be whatever, whatever day it happens to be. It'll be one of the 12 days of Christmas yes, cookies. It but I do like, of, I do like that there's a theme and I do like yes, that it's the 12 yes, days of Christmas cookies. Yes. That's, really, that's really great. So I made these up, Bobby. This is Meemaw's Kitchen Sink Christmas Cookies. And of course, Meemaw is Brooks, was Brooks' grandmother. Mm. You know, and she adored her grandmother. Okay. And uh, I misunderstood because you said you made these up, but what you mean is you made this I mixed back. it, yes. You didn't create this recipe. Right, and it had to sit in the refrigerator for an hour, so mm. it's gotten stiff. Uh, but after we bake right. them off, there's still another step. I think that's why Mimo called these kitchen sink cookies. <laughs> after so, they're baked off, there's another step? Yeah. <laughs> well, that would be called eating, right? No. Before eating. There's another preparation. All right, so step. I've got, I started dipping them up using that tablespoon. So if you would finish, Bobby, well, and I, I will. think you can get I will, full roast. First, I want to show everybody how awesome this tablespoon is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? This is some of mom's, your, your um, My products, right? Yeah. And this goes back a few years. This is not new. Many this years. Is, this goes back no, a, a, many little, years. a little ways. But it's just be that beautiful hammered, um, Pewter. Look, it's pewter. Yes. Yeah, yeah, pewter. Okay. And you know, this is for dry ingredients, measuring yeah. dry ingredients. And you know, the standard. You got one for wet? Uh huh. Oh, yeah. And that's the standard measuring cup, you know, with the spout. I've got one. That's for house. liquids. Mm -hmm. And these and it's shaped, are. And it's shaped, it goes like this. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, well, I'm going to be. Cooking working. lesson's over. <laughs> Did, she, um, did you know that in real life, Bobby? I did, yeah. I've got two okay. uh, different like Pyrex brand measuring comes in my house. busted me out one, because no, I did no, not know Yeah, that. yeah, no. The one, the, one, the one that's made for wet is obvious because it's usually they have like... You got a, a spout. Um, right. Well, it's got a, Well, both of mine have a spout, but may, they may both be made for liquid. But, but one of them is shaped, you know, more like a volcano, upside down uh -huh. volcano. Well, I that's tell you That's the one what, for liquid. And it's got a sticky bottom on it so it doesn't slide on the... Okay. You so and Teresa fine. can have a measuring we'll, cup we'll conversation talk, we'll, later. We'll talk about that. We will. <laughs> All right. So after Bobby gets those baked off, we're putting them in a three. How many rows? Fifty. Three rows of four. Yeah, like four. Um. Like um. Four. What was I saying? Now three you didn't count me off the. Okay, in a preheated three hundred and fifty degree oven, uh, for about fifteen minutes. Now make sure it's very important, Bobby, that your cookie batter hits the cookie sheet all the same size. 
because wow. if you've got a bunch of dough here and not much here, That's well then the one not right here with not much is gonna get done quicker than the one with a lot. Mm -hmm. So you want them to all get done at it's the same time. It's called uniform, son. Uniform. Oh, all right, so we'll hop out. So Merry Christmas, everybody. Home. I am gonna be. It's almost Thanksgiving. Getting what are y'all gonna do for Thanksgiving? What are you gonna do for Thanksgiving? Not gathering, obviously, right? It's gonna be small, <laughs> yeah. small little, I guess Cloudy and I are gonna eat pine cones with our children. <laughs> Y'all gonna go out and eat says. pine cones and pine straw. That's what my brother always says about me. Everybody, everybody makes fun of me. <laughs> and that's all right. That's all right. They eat so healthy Come on. and so natural. Compared. Yeah. And we feel compared like, to everybody else. That's what they're talking about. We feel like all they do is go out in the yard and, and eat pine cones. That's my Pick up job. sticks and eat sticks. Y'all just eat pine cones. <laughs> What are you talking about? Aren't, aren't we going to his house to eat pine cones? Well, we? we got plenty of them. So y'all can all come. As long as you say socially distance and outside the gate. That's right. You can eat the pine cones that fall out of my neighbor's trees. You can peek you over the gate. You are too good. You can peek over the gate if you got a stool. You are too good to your family. You know that, right? I'm sure you've been told. All right. Y'all want to give away the secret? Y'all want to tell the truth now? What? You what? live at my house. <laughs> I do, y'all. Because we sold a river bin. And it just, as you get older, you just don't want that kind of responsibility of that much property. Five acres was tough. But so anyway, we never sold this dogwood house because this is where Michael and I met. This is where he lived his whole entire life. And um, I'm not Michael. So Michael. you know, we just never wanted to sell it. So yeah, and, and it was a good, it was a good choice because look how beautiful this house I know, is. It's, it's so always, beautiful. it's always been. Um, it's it's a always big. been, it's always been special oh, to me. Uh -huh. It's always been special to me because we shot all of Paula's best uh -huh. dishes here. Uh -huh. and, so yeah. much of Paula's home cooking, and know, like, lot, this, this room over here behind Eddie that he's about to show, like I can uh -huh. just see Gordon Elliott and his crew. I know, I was just talking about In Gordon. there, and us just laughing and having the best uh, time. Kids sitting up there playing the guitar. Yeah, this is where um, I, got a, I got a buddy that uh, that plays Major League Baseball. His name's Albert Kuholtz, and, and, and he and I shot... Uh, together in this kitchen. Yeah, and, and, and Dee, Dee we, came and, and, Dee Dee and shot a show and with me. Then Albert and I went and played in a golf tournament down in uh, Brunswick, Georgia with, with a, uh, another baseball buddy and Adam Wainwright, who's from this area. And uh, golly, I just, you know, my, Mama's had so many special and important um, guests and different kind of people in this house and yes. in here making food with her. And it's just, you know, we talked about this when when mom was getting ready to move out of the um, out of the big house over there, the the, the River Bend house. Uh -huh. And this was a conversation that we'd had. Yeah, don't. I'm aren't you gonna go miss ahead. it? Don't you feel? But yeah, go ahead and put those in there, and I'll do the second. Okay. You know, you're gonna miss it because there's just so much uh, important stuff that happened here, and it's, you know, blah blah blah. It's all just so great. I like this house and this piece of property so much better. I've got I've That's got many what more. All of you children have said. I've got many more important uh, memories here than than at Dogwood. Really? I mean, than, than at uh, than at Riverbend. Yeah, it's true for me. So oh, a I'm lot, so a lot glad. Of you, Michelle and oh, well, Anthony are so excited. Oh my God, I'm sure. About yeah. it's like, it's like a homecoming. Right. Yeah. It's like going home. With this you. is uh, you know this is. For for me, this is just mom's house, you know, for a long yeah. time. But but for what you're seeing right now, you see this picture of the chicken up there yeah. and the painting rather than a picture. This is roosters, so. And then the, the, the you know the, the wood burning oven and like yeah. this is iconic. This is the set of you know your like TV years, show for and years, years and years and years. And years. So um Probably almost, almost just a 10 years. It's a pretty special place to me. Um, All right, so these cookies are coming out like perfectly. I'm not uh -huh. having any problem. Uh -huh. No, what, you're what's not having the, any what's problem. What's the um, next well, step? Well, I just made myself a double baller using uh, a glass bowl. Uh, okay. Now, and now uh, sitting on top of a pot. Mm -hmm. The water is not touching the bottom of that bowl though. You want to make sure old, it doesn't touch. Good old double boiler. So, 
Yeah. Hey, let me tell y'all so something I'm too now. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. sorry. You got enough cookie dough here for 25 Christmas. Oh, well, you just getting started. I am. <laughs> Who are we making cookies for? America's <laughs> Second Harvest? <laughs> that would be a good idea. That would be a good idea. We should deliver some. American <laughs> Second Harvest is the local food bank here in Savannah, Georgia. And my brother, um, God bless him, he's a great guy. He just really is. He's got a he's got a great he's very he's got a very community oriented uh, mind and heart. And he's worked with the uh, with American Second Harvest for years. And you and I have done some stuff there too. Oh yeah. And something that's really special for us too is we like to um, well, I've already started to say it, so I'm gonna say it, but um, Sometimes when you do things and then you talk about it, it sort of robs away from yeah. the fact that you're doing it. Yeah. But we'd like to do some work with uh, with um, Salvation Army too. So the reason that I'm saying that is is not um, to toot your horn or, you know, or ours, I've, I've never... but maybe suggest to you all out there, if you're trying to figure out something to do for the holidays this year to make something really special, mm -hmm. if you visit uh, Salvation Army or American Second Harvest and, and donate your time or some goods, it'll really uh, do you a lot. I don't ever think I've, I've um, publicly announced. Yeah, well, it's different because you know, I did it, and it's kind yeah. of a, it's kind of but natural. That, because, that, um, I was just thinking about something. I, that gave me so much pleasure through the years to watch those children and to hug their mamas mm. and their daddies, and I remember one man, his wife had died, and he had like three little children, mm. and he stood up there and hugged me and cried. I cried with him. Um, I've got some good memory. Yeah, you've done a lot of good for a lot of people. Oh, well, thank All you. right, what's next? All right, what's next is I forgot to set the timer. Wow. All right, so we put our cookies in a 350 degree preheated oven, and Mimo said to bake them for 15 minutes. Well, I probably had those in two minutes already, so I'm gonna set them 13 by okay. that. And you know, the time will fly just like that. Always does. So I told you that I put my white chocolate I had the bag. Where'd it go? It Is right that mm -hmm. okay? Let's show everybody okay. what I'm using. Ooh, fancy. Cause there's one more step, y'all, to these cookies. Fancy, fancy. And one of these ain't gonna be enough <laughs> for that bucket full of dough. A lot of dough. <laughs> A lot of dough. All right, what you want me to do? Well, we can kind of wash the dishes and mm. just wait for 15 minutes to pass. Mm-mm. Come to wash the dishes. <laughs> I do that in my house. Well, you sit there and watch the clock, then. Right. Okay, now we're fixing to finish Mimo's kitchen sink cookies up. The last step is to dip them in our melted white chocolate and then sprinkle them with crushed peppermint bits. <laughs> How does that look, Bobby? That looks very, very good. <laughs> I would like one. Mimo is a winner. That looks great. Not just yet. Oh, okay. Well, you said you wanted one. I so do. I, going... I do. But you see, yes, I, still, I still need to go to the oven. <laughs> I, I love this. Done. Now, that that chocolate, that white chocolate, y'all, is going to get... Oh, hard again. So you'll be able to put these in. Bobby, you want to do this? This is fun. Mm -hmm. Is it? <laughs> is it Tom Sawyer? <laughs> Your children are going to love this. That's Tom Sawyer. <laughs> you want to come paint my fence? It's fun. <laughs> love these cookies and they're just the perfect size you know you can eat three and you just say this just, real tiny just want, just want three more yeah all right put some of the uh oh okay i'll dip them and you okay. load them up you you dip them i'll with, stick them with the peppermint <laughs> peppermint <laughs> <laughs> oh you just kind of drop it down uh-huh yeah that's what you do Mm -mm. Oh, you did perfect on that one. Look at all that. Goo. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I, I hope that y'all will get in the kitchen and 
try some of these recipes that my family and I are sharing with y'all. Mm -hmm. You know, they've been tested. They're tried and true, honey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so join me in our 12 day of Christmas cookies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> loving best dishes, y'all. We'll Bobby, tell soon. them loving best dishes, son. We'll see y'all again soon. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't gonna say it. That's your line. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's your line? Bye, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.